Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to London, welcome to Chelsea. Sloan Square right now, check it out. Okay, usual disclaimer, if you're watching this live, it's a little bit shaky, it's very windy today. Um, the quality is not as good as pre-recorded videos, but it is live. If you're watching this back later, not live, YouTube do a pretty good job of stabilizing the footage as best they can um, in the few hours after it's finished live broadcasting. But um, yeah, live, there's a price you pay for live broadcasting, but it will get better as the phones get better, as of when I get a new phone. Check out this fountain. I can't tell if it's the spray from the fountain or the rain at the moment. It's been rain, raining intermittently. Also, check out this. Someone's had a, uh, someone missed. Um, you can drive around Sloan Square here. Um, it's a two, two lanes here. Someone uh, missed uh, bollards and did that. Weirdly enough, it's also, that one there is also missing as well. But that looks like a separate incident. I don't know how they took out the top of it and not the bottom, but this one's fresh. Look at that. I bet that hurt. Might have been a bus or something like that. Kind of indestructible. Right, I'm gonna head down the King's Road um, from here. Sloan Street's just up there. That's Sloan Street. If you head right up there, you come out at um, Kensington, no sorry not Kensington, Knightsbridge and uh, Harrods. Loads of luxury boutique shops up there. Kings Road starts there, Duke of York Square's there. We'll walk around the back of Peter Jones, it's a bit less windy. Peter Jones department store here, it's shopping day Saturday afternoon shopping day. I've already been here for quite a while because I've been filming a, uh, a video, pre-recorded video. Go out probably in a week or two um, here in Chelsea. Although I won't give too much away, don't want to ruin the surprise. But yeah, if you head up this street as well, Pavilion Road, if you head up there, loads of news houses, you'll uh, come to Knightsbridge and Harrods as well. Yeah, there's shops everywhere, even in these little back streets around here. This is the, uh, the better looking entrance of Peter Jones at the back here. Okay, I've actually been to the, there's a market in Duke of York Square just over the road. Been there already and had something to uh, some lunch today. I'm gonna just go and get some coffee um, from further down the road. But having said that, there's good coffee in Chelsea, but there's no great coffee shops. There's nothing you uh, stands out if you're in the speciality uh, coffee uh, industry and uh, you're looking for somewhere to open a new branch. Chelsea. There's no point having all the gear and no idea, which is what a few of them have got. Because um, if you get espresso rock, it tastes worse than Starbucks filter. So I might even go and get a Starbucks filter, they're a quid. Don't tell anyone though. Out just around here, no, no, Kings Road on a Saturday. No, Shopping, no, be in full swing. <laughs> yeah, this morning when I left, first thing I walked out to go and do some chores, to come and do some chores, and um, it was like summer. In fact, I put a, uh, all I had on was a t-shirt. It looks so convincingly like summer outside. I left the house in just a t-shirt and regretted it pretty quickly. It turned from summer into spring and then transitioned back to uh, 
into winter and it's been raining intermittently. Um, it was sunny and raining at one point, but now it's just overcast and uh, raining intermittently. It's warm though. Not hot, it's warm. Okay, just over there, Duke of York Square, got the Saatchi Art Gallery. And also on Saturday, so today, there is a um, farmer's market. Pretty busy, although it's probably winding down a bit now. That's the, so that's the entrance there to the Saatchi Art Gallery. Um, this was all once um, owned by the uh, Ministry of Defence. It was a uh, school, a military school. When the Ministry of Defence was no longer using it, they converted it into um, retail. There's, a, there's a restaurants in there, shops, little boutique shops. And on Saturdays there's farmer's market which is pretty cool. A little bit pretentious in places, they sell bottles of champagne and uh, there's an oyster store and there's even table service on some of them, which is, you don't get most markets. head a bit further down the king's road. I'm not sure how far I can make it down here before this ends. Um, as far as coffee. Actually, the King's Road here was originally the King's Road, so it always had like a, I guess, originally had a royal kudos to it. Um, it linked uh, the royal family's palaces here in London to their palaces in Kew. Um, then when they finished, when they stopped using the palaces in Kew, it was open to the public. Um, I think it's always been Chelsea's high street. Uh, kind of shot to fame in the 60s or 70s, long before my time, before I remember. It was part of the swing in the 60s along with Carnaby Street, like home to fashion. And it still pretty much does that. A lot of people say it's changed, but fundamentally, there's still a lot of clothing shops, there's still a lot of fashion stores, especially as more so up Sloan Street, um, a lot of high end boutique fashion stores, jewelry stores. And um, yeah, it kind of, I guess, by the end of the 1900s, this was little more than Chelsea's High Street. Uh, but I think. When they converted that Duke of York Square from the Army Barracks and Training School into Rita, kind of rejuvenated. There's a lot more mid-end stores in Duke of York Square, and obviously the uh, the art gallery is a big draw. And it gave the road a boost. That there, that McDonald's. Um, you ever heard of the Chelsea drug store in the Rolling Stone? Was it? You can't always get what you want. The Rolling Stone song. This was where that was. Was a pub then became the Chelsea drug store. Now it's a McDonald's. They sell coffee too, but I'm not going in there. Actually, I might see if I can make it as far as um, Chelsea Old Town Hall. I nearly went there and got run over by bus. Yeah, I might see if I can make it as far as uh, Chelsea Old Town Hall. On Saturdays, it's quite often. Um... Check this out. It's the old town hall. It's quite often weddings on Saturdays, and uh, it's a terrible day to get married. Raining today, but uh, they pop out onto the main street amongst all the shoppers. Um, although, what times it might be a bit late in the day. But yeah, down by the Ivy Chelsea Gardens.
Yeah, it's a uh, pretty busy day today. It's busy with shoppers. Even the rain didn't put them off earlier. A bit of live music for us. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> okay, there's a, uh, it's a pretty cool looking pizza restaurant here, Pizza Express. Turn the camera around. Behind that bus. Find Wonder Woman. Here we go. That is Pizza Express. I've made videos about the King's Road before some of the landmark buildings here. Um, the Starbucks that's here, which I might go and get a filter coffee from, and they say it's the first Starbucks in London. Debatable. They opened 60, I think, or they bought 60. Maybe it was the first, first one they converted from a Seattle Coffee Company into a Starbucks, but they did buy quite a few at launch, but here it is, check it out. Yeah, I think Starbucks say that was the first Starbucks in London. But there's a load of myths down here. Um, Mary Kwan invented the mini skirt. Her shop was where that Joe the Juice was um, originally. There's now there's now Mary Kwan shop in um, um, Duke of York Square. But yes, thank you Mary Kwan for inventing the mini skirt and hot pants. But it's disputed whether she actually did invent it. But yeah, somewhere here. Check this out. This used to be an antique centre. It's now an anthropology. They knocked down half the back of it. Pretty good cinema here as well. Curzon. Although I think they're going to knock some of this down. I don't know where. Check out the back of that building. Yeah, that was an antique centre. A little independent antique figures in it. Um, I think the back of it, I thought they'd knocked a lot of it down, but it's back. Right, this is a uh, Chelsea Old Town Hall we're coming up on here. There is a wedding because there's one of the wedding special buses parked outside. There's another bus there as well. Okay, it's very easy to gate crash weddings here because they come out on the main road. <laughs> but uh, yeah, check out the uh, the uh, the wedding special old vintage double decker bus and a vintage taxi as well, done uh, with the uh, the ribbon on for a wedding as a. Uh, wedding car. Can you make that out? I wonder if that's actually a bride, but there's no groom. Maybe it's just the bridesmaids. Guess. Oh, who wears? Only the bride wears a white dress to a wedding, surely. It's 
So yeah, going by that rule that only the bride wears white, I'm presuming that is the bride. Congratulations, love. But where's the groom? Maybe it's one of those modern weddings. <coughs> Although they both have white on, one's wearing pink. Civil partnerships, that's what the word I was looking for. Okay, I'll show you around the corner briefly. There's a farmer's market kind of complex around the corner. Um, looks pretty sad, apart from in summer. Um, it's just round here. Just there. Popular restaurants just down there. The uh, that there is the Ivy Chelsea Garden. Although the Ivy was quite an exclusive restaurant, the, the Ivy is quite an exclusive restaurant in um, theatre land, but um, they're spreading themselves a bit thinly, so it's like weddings. Here we go. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, the wedding's come out. From the old town hall, right into um, right into the main street of uh, the shoppers. But yeah, it's pretty interesting to watch. They'll be slinging confetti over them in a moment. Wedding photography is one thing. Broadcast to the world, lives next level, eh? Take a bus right in the money shop. I make the most of this brief moment because here comes another bus. Quality, eh? Congratulations, new Mr. and Mrs. Yeah, I'm available for wedding, uh, wedding photography. Uh, if you want live, live broadcast, if you want your wedding live broadcast, I'm your man. If you don't want your wedding live broadcast, I'm still your man. I'll turn up. Looks like a wedding guest there. Traditional uh, Scottish kilt. Unless he was just wearing a skirt. Okay, right, I'm gonna head into the coffee shop here. And uh get a filter coffee from the original Starbucks. Don't tell anyone. A reputation to uphold. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little visit to uh, Chelsea Kingside. Another, uh, check out another wedding bus. You must be churning them out. Good to see they still use the old buses. Getting good use out of them and the vintage taxis. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this this uh, visit to uh, Chelsea, London's King Ro King's Road, um, shopping Mecca and uh, on his busiest day, Saturday. Um, 
Where did we go? Sloan Square to Chelsea Old Town Hall. Congratulations to the, uh, the bride and groom. No idea who they were. So thanks for watching. Till next time. Toodles. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, if you're in the um, speciality coffee uh, game, you're wondering where to open a new store, save me from Starbucks.